I just wanted to make a couple of videos to show some of the projects I made for Christmas 2014 before I take them apart and repurpose all the pieces. Uh, I'm going to just move the camera here so we can see what went into my Twitter controlled cheer lights Christmas tree. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where this Christmas tree was over the festive period. This is a shot of the thing in its entirety. The metal stand that the, the LEDs are going around is actually from Ikea. It's for displaying baubles and various Christmas decorations on, so it's been repurposed from that. I'm just going to move the camera again to zoom into the details of the electronics in a second. The thing just to note quickly, it's uh, running the Adafruit strand test library, which is the, um, the nice little colour phase that's happening there and the top pixel that is the ping pong ball uh, to diffuse it is actually displaying the current cheer light colour um, and I'll explain that in a bit more detail in just a second. Okay, so this is the electronics that are running my twist controlled cheer light tree. As you can see we've got a Raspberry Pi, it's an, uh, just a Model B that's connected to power over ethernet so that's where it's getting its internet connection from and it's powering off the back of it a Arduino Leonardo. The Arduino Leonardo is actually running the lights because at the time of building it I didn't, didn't know of a library that could run WS2811 LEDs so that's the Arduino is doing there. So the Raspberry Pi is connected to the cheer lights API and it does a request to the website every 15, 20 seconds, and it brings back the current cheer light color. Um, it then passes it over this USB cable to the Arduino. The Arduino then displays the color in a pattern that goes um, up the light, up the tree, and then the top pixel of the tree remains constant, and then the tree goes back to doing its nice sort of color cycle. Um, as an extension this year I built these, I added on these buttons here which go into um, the Raspberry Pi and some of the, it's got some of the cheer light colours assigned to these buttons and the last button is doing a random colour. Uh, I just wanted it so that my children could change the colour of the tree, I've explained to them that it's changing the colour of other people's Christmas trees and their Christmas lights so that they could, you know, be part of it without having to let them loose on Twitter, which for, you know, four and six year olds isn't ideal. So this small board here is an extension, uh, it is interfacing with the Raspberry Pi. And then additionally this year, I've got this speaker here. And what the idea with the speaker is so that you can confirm that a color has been sent to, to cheer lights. And then I recorded my children saying each of the colours and it randomly plays either my son or my daughter's voice saying the, the colour, which I thought was quite cute. And certainly in years to come when they're, they're a lot older and they don't sound the same, would be even, even cuter. So I'm just going to press uh, one of these buttons and uh, give you a demonstration of uh, how it's working. So there we go, that's the uh, the audio coming through. I'm not sure how much the actual tree you can see, but I'll uh, zoom out and do another one of those so you can see how it, how it displays on the tree. Okay, so this is a full shot of the tree and uh, I was just gonna demonstrate what the uh, the light sequence looks like when it, when it goes off, okay.